Hello friends, this video on mensuration part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A cube. So based on whatever we have learned about the surface areas of uh, different solid shapes, let's try out a few questions. Question number one. Ruxar painted the outside of the cabinet of measure 1 meter by 2 meter by 1.5 meters. How much surface area did she cover if she painted all except the bottom of the cabinet? So basically we need to find out the total surface area of this cabinet except the bottom. So we just need to exclude the bottom. So for that what do we need to do? We need to find out the total surface area of this cabinet. Now what is the shape of this cabinet? Here the cabinet is in the shape of a cuboid because length, breadth and heights are different. So here if you see length is equal to 2 meters, breadth is equal to 1 meter and height is equal to 1.5 meters. Right. So we have to find out the total sub surface area and subtract from that the area of the bottom. That is the area of the base surface. So how do we do that? So total surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. And what would be the area of the bottom? So the bottom surface, for the bottom surface the length would be L and breadth would be B. So this would be L into B. So this is 2 into L into B plus B into H plus L into H minus L into B. So this is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1.5 plus 3 minus 2. This is equal to 2 into 6.5 minus 2 that is equal to 13 minus 2 which is equal to 11 meter square. So this is the total surface area that she had covered. Question number 2. A closed cylindrical tank of radius 7 meters and height 3 meters is made from a sheet of metal. How much sheet of metal is required? So here you have to uh, read the question very carefully. Closed cylindrical tank. That means the top and the bottom. They are closed. So you have those two surfaces as well. So you have to consider total surface area here. So the radius is given as 7 meters and also the height of this cylindrical cylinder is given as 3 meters. Okay, so let us now find it out. So I think the image is not as per the uh, question which is mentioned. So in the question, the radius is more and the height is smaller. So anyways, this was just to give you an idea about how it might look. So radius is 7 meters and height is 3 meters. So total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h. So that is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 plus 3. So the 7 and 7 will get cancelled. So this is 44 into 7 plus 3. That is equal to 44 into 10 which is equal to 440 meters square. So this much area of the sheet of metal would be required. Question number 3. A road roller takes 750 complete revolutions to move once over to level a road. Find the area of the road if the diameter of a road roller is 84 centimeters and the length is 1 meter. Now when you look at this road roller, you see it is in the shape of a cylinder where this is the radius of the cylinder and this is the height of the cylinder. Right, So this would be your radius and this would be your height. So this is like a cylinder. Now one complete revolution of this road roller that means if you start from if the road roller starts from here and it rotates till it again reaches to the same point. So that is one complete revolution. So such one complete revolution of the road roller would actually mean the lateral surface area of the roller. So when it completes one revolution, it covers area that is equal to the total lateral surface area of the cylinder, right? Because you see in one revolution what is happening, it starts from here and it reaches here. 
correct so in one revolution it covers that much area which is the area of the which is the lateral surface area or the curved surface area of the roller so let us try to find out the lateral surface area of the road roller which is given by 2 pi r h now in this problem radius is given as radius is not given diameter is given as 84 centimeters so if diameter is 84 then radius would be 84 divided by 2 which is equal to 42 centimeters okay so 2 into pi is 22 by 7 the radius is 42 centimeters and height is 1 meters because length of the road roller is nothing but the height so height is 1 meter now here 42 is taken in centimeters so let's take uh, the length also in centimeters so this would be 100 centimeters so 7 6 is a 42 so this is equal to 26400 0, 0 centimeter square which is equal to 2.64 meter square so this is the lateral surface area of the road roller. Now we have to find out the area of the road. Now the question says that in 750 revolutions it covers the entire area of the road. So one revolution it covers this much area. So that means in 750 revolutions how much area it will cover? 750 into 2.64 so this much area it will cover which is equal to 1980 meter square. So this is nothing but the area of the road. So I hope you understood the problem. So see one revolution that means in one revolution it covers the total lateral surface area of the cylinder. Right? So we've calculated the lateral surface of the cylinder. Now in 750 revolutions, it covers the entire area of the road. So in 750 revolutions, it will cover how much area? 750 into the lateral surface area, which is 1980 meters square. And that's the area of the road which it covers. Question number four. A suitcase which measure, with measures 80 cm by 48 cm by 24 cm is to be covered with a tarpaulin cloth. How many meters of cloth of width 96 cm is required to cover 100 such suitcases? Now what is the shape of the suitcase? So the suitcase is in the shape of a cuboid. Right? So the length, breadth and height of the cuboid is given as 80, 48 and 24 respectively. Now when you want to cover this complete suitcase with a cloth that means you need to know the total surface area of the suitcase. So let us calculate the total surface area of this cuboid which is given by 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. So this is equal to 2 into length is 80, breadth is 24, again breadth is 24, height is 48. Again, length is 80 and height is 48. So let us calculate this. This is 2 into 1920 plus 1152 plus 3840. This is equal to 13824 centimeter square, which is 1.3824 meter square. So this is the total surface area of the suitcase. So therefore, how much cloth will be needed to cover this suitcase? So we can say that the area of cloth needed to cover one suitcase because right now we have calculated the total surface area of one suitcase. So whatever is the total surface area of one suitcase that much area of cloth would be needed to cover it. So Now we have to find out the length of the cloth needed to cover it because width of the cloth is already given. So area of the cloth will be length into breadth which is equal to 1.3824. Therefore length of the cloth would be 1.3824 divided by breadth or width which is given as 96 centimeters which can be written as 0.96 meters. So this is equal to 1.44 meters. So we need 1.44 meters of cloth to cover one suitcase. But in the question it is asking for 100 suitcases. So for 100 suitcases the length will also get multiplied by 100. So you get 144 meters. So we need 144 meters of cloth of width 96 centimeters to cover 100 such suitcases. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.